Hi everyone, for this week's reading, I will be working with Tarot Grand. Uh, I hope you guys are doing good. Happy new moon in Pisces, okay? So I'm, I've already been feeling the intensity of this new moon energy since the past few days and it's been building up. Uh, we just had the Maha uh, Shivaratri and uh, happy Maha Shivaratri to all who are celebrating and um but the energies have been intense and i've been definitely feeling it so let's tap into the collective energy let's see what's what messages are coming through as always these are general readings so take the parts that resonate with you and let the rest go okay let's tap into the energy what is it that spirit wants to bring through i have my tarot here i also have uh, two oracle decks so we're gonna tap into what's coming through okay oops okay so a couple of cards want to come out okay spirit what needs to come through for the collective i just saw the ace of pentacles okay so many of you uh, are working on a business or a project or you have an idea uh, that you want to proceed with okay and if that is the case then absolutely do that uh, some of you are gonna have like a new stream of income as well and as i did that i also saw the devil okay um now there could be some people who are not happy about this new beginning that you're starting or some new project that you want to start. Um, and um, and as I, I was saying that the Queen of Swords came. So again, these things are all tying up. Uh, it's like you have to be you have to be smart. You have to be vigilant. OK, you have to understand uh, who is who is with you who is working against you okay kind of that's the energy that i'm getting uh the um the ace of pentacles hasn't come out but as i was talking i didn't see it okay so definitely i felt that energy where uh you you want to start something new especially financially and it's something it could be an idea or a project that you need to protect okay because uh, there could be jealousy or people just general jealous of what you're creating or there could be uh, some people who want to kind of uh, almost like stop that success for you. Although I don't feel that's going to happen because you know, I, I saw Justice card as well and to me that's like, uh, you know, Justice is, is in your favor. Okay, so let's start the reading. Okay, I have my cards here laid out. I'm just putting them in order so that I can tune into the energy and, you know, start with what, what I'm receiving, okay? Uh, first of all, we're starting with the uh, Seven of Wands. Uh, this really feels like you are extremely protective of your energy. Can you see how he's protecting his turf? And uh, I really feel like uh, this is you, okay? This is you as a warrior. You're, you're standing up. There's something you're standing up for, okay? And uh, right next to the Seven of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands. So there's something that you are standing up for. This could be something you're voicing. This is this could be something you're protecting. You could be protecting your family. You could be protecting your assets. You could be protecting, uh, you know, whatever you're building. And it's really required for you to be in this energy. That's what I'm getting. It's required for you to kind of protect. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, those cards that I saw while shuffling, they didn't come out, but they. I feel they are part of the reading where I saw the Ace of Pentacles and the Devil. So, uh, you know, maybe there are energies that want to pull you back, keep you stuck. You have a brand new fiery beginning, okay? There is a there is a dragon within this Ace of Wands, okay? Uh, you need to bring in this fiery, passionate energy, and this is really uh, representative of your energy, okay? This is. It's, it's like something has awakened in you. And it's interesting, I'm just noticing this wand, uh, you know, has leaves shooting out. And that's, you know, as we step into March, I'm in Toronto, and that's normally how we, I see the weather changing and, uh, you know, all these little leaves sprouting. So that's really the kind of visual I'm also getting here. It's like you're new, you're giving birth to new life, you know, just like during springtime, leaves sprout, plants start blooming and things like that. This is exactly what's happening where you're giving, uh, you're giving, 
almost like this fire to your new life okay this dragon energy this fiery energy and it's like for some march could be the month where things are taking off finally it is happening for you you have the judgment nice right next to the ace of wands okay uh so judgment and then you have the king of swords you have made a decision you've made a judgment call when it comes to certain individuals okay this could be people from the past there could be certain situations where you've made the judgment call you see how she has kind of she has her sword right next to covering her heart so you had to make um maybe a head over heart decision or you have to make some tough decisions about certain people this could be about also about with the queen of swords this could also be about cutting out certain individuals that were that you felt are not uh, are, are not part of worthy of your new beginning because uh, maybe in the past you're always fighting those individuals or they, these people are always causing conflict I don't know why I'm getting this um, this analogy of uh, you know bouncers being outside of nightclubs right and there is a reason why there are bouncers outside of nightclubs because you know they're they're kind of sifting through who needs to enter in order to control uh you know they, they don't want any kind of chaos they don't want any kind of drama uh you know at the event they want things to go smoothly at, at the nightclub or wherever right so this is kind of the same energy where you are you are sifting through with the judgment and the queen of swords like you like you've had to toughen up okay your past this is this could be things from the past uh that made you that made you smart enough really that is what i'm getting smart enough you see how she's got her crown crown chakra uh you know it's like and there's a peacock here so peacock could be of significance okay but pe peacock uh peacock spreads its wings right and a uh, peacock also signifies you not being afraid of your own colors you not being afraid of your feathers of your glory uh like some some would say like i don't know why i'm getting the energy of show off some would think that it is show offing because they're not in that energy but it's like you know what i'm really getting is it's beautiful right if you've ever seen a peacock it is beautiful i have seen many a times and every time i see it i just cannot take my eyes off it it is so so incredibly beautiful and the peacock feathers with all its purples and blues is just captivating and i feel that is your captivating energy and it's so interesting that the word show off came in my mind because some people could think of you just like you're you know you're this captivating energy and they they try to minimize you in some way or they made you feel like you know it's like you're not this you're not this beautiful bird you're not this exotic bird you're you're less than making you feel uh you know less than making you doubt your abilities or making you doubt that you can even have this this new beginning this success this fire and like i feel with the queen of swords and the judgment you have smartened up really that is what i'm getting you've smartened up you made some tough decisions this may have to be with certain head over heart decisions where you you made a judgment call definitely you made a judgment call on certain situations you may have even ended certain situations where there was just too much happening here. I mean, you're, you're tired of uh, proving your point and you know, and with some people, it's like no matter how much you prove your point, it's like uh, just hitting against a wall. They still don't get it. And I, I feel that's really the energy where you're like, I'm done, I'm done. And I am this beautiful exotic bird. And uh, you know, I'm gonna connect with my tribe or I'm gonna connect with people who are on my same level or people who understand me and where I don't have to communicate again and again and again and again to prove my point, right? I hope this makes sense. And uh, you know, with the doves here also, 
It's like you, you are making peace with your past, okay? Some things from your past could be very disturbing or very difficult. And uh, this new moon could some, sometimes trigger, you know, those things coming up for you to release. But I feel like you're doing it in a good way. You're doing it in your safe space. If you see how she's protecting her space. It's like you're you're cocooning your energy you're taking care of yourself and you're healing yourself okay and uh, now the second row has the ten of cups and i really like this energy you see how this couple is kind of you know sitting nicely next to the fireplace and there's a little kitty cat here uh so yeah so you know you you want this emotional uh satisfaction you've basically what I'm getting is you've worked for this or you are working towards this, okay? If you, if you are in the process of working towards this, uh, Spirit wants you to know through this card that you uh, you have the ability to achieve this, okay? Uh, maybe I'm also getting from the first row that maybe all your life, you know, since you were a child, what you really wanted was this. You see how this is such a cozy picture, these people look at peace look at the look on the little kitty's face right it's so peaceful and sleeping and stuff so it's like it's warm it's fuzzy you you want it to be loved you want it to be held you want it to be uh comforted in a safe space where people would understand you where, where you would feel this warmth or this welcoming feeling this feeling of home right this is a picture of a home and uh you know like it, it's not every home feels like a home sometimes you have to create a home I, I hope you understand what i'm what i'm saying sometimes there can be a lot of dysfunction within a home maybe you you know growing up you experienced a lot of dysfunction and all you wanted was a safe space all you wanted was to feel secure to feel loved to be emotionally understood to be to be held right and Spirit is saying that it, it is with the Judgment and the Ten of Cups, you are getting this emotional uh, fulfillment. You, If you feel you're still not there, you are getting there, okay? Now, we have the uh, Eight of Coins. So, again, something that you're working on. Something that you're working on has the potential to grow. Uh, this may be an idea. Maybe you're guided to read a book. Maybe uh, you're guided to research some information or, uh, you know, or work on your craft. There could be something that you want to work on. Like you really have the ability to create so much financial independence and stability in your life. This is the nine of coins, nine of pentacles, okay? Okay. Uh, to me, the nine of the woman in the nine of pentacles is almost like the empress. Okay, so you have the ability to create the life of your dreams by whatever it is that you're working on. Okay, by your craft, by your art, uh, whatever it is that you do, you have the ability to create a legacy, to create financial independence and stability. Now, this card flew out in the end. This is the Two of Swords, but it flew out in the reverse, okay? So, I'm going to take it in the reverse. I really feel with this card, you see how she's blindfolded? It's like people may have tried to blindfold you. People may have tried to uh, almost, uh, you know, I'm getting the word scapegoat. Uh, but the thing is that you're no longer you're no longer keeping yourself stuck you're not no longer keeping yourself confused you're no longer in this energy of confusion okay there is a lot of clarity here especially with the queen of swords and the judgment okay it's like i want to say that whatever judgment you made about whoever okay whoever in your life or uh, this could be a job situation this could be a family situation this could be a relationship whatever it is it means to you i feel like you made the right choice okay because there is so much stability and all this energy which kept you confused lost derailed you're you're putting an end to that and especially this being the final card you're like you're so done with this and bottom of the deck you have the ace of cups 
again this Piscean energy new moon in Pisces right and we have all these beautiful fishes here I really feel like whatever your dreams are okay whatever uh whenever you think and you start imagining like I want I want this life and I want a little puppy dog or something like that I want a puppy dog that's bringing that up I, have, I love dogs so uh, you know it's like yes you you can have that okay this with the ace of cups you can have this wish fulfillment whatever you're wishing for uh can come about for you okay and it's like uh spirit is saying key dreaming uh you're you're not you know sometimes people say or you're just it's, it's a dream that's never going to come true with this card and the ace of wands it, it is coming true you you need to start believing in your dreams you need to start believing in yourself okay it's going to come about i feel like pulling some more i don't know about you i'm going to do that and right right underneath the ace of cups was the ace of pentacles and this is what i've been seeing as i was shuffling okay See, you have the ability to create something really, really big and really, really awesome, okay? you Whatever it is you're working on, Spirit is saying just keep doing that because it's going to bring you your wish fulfillment, your new beginning your new beginning everything's coming okay and with the judgment and this you know i'm also getting uh, messages as i'm uh reading with the judgment and this it's like people who've done you wrong it's like they're getting their karma or they will get their karma you don't have to do a thing you just have to protect your energy because with the queen of swords she's very protective of herself okay uh she does not accept any kind of bs uh, she knows her worth and she stands up for herself okay so that's really what i'm getting with the queen of uh <laughs> with the queen of swords okay You know, some of you, this one came out, the Ten of Wands. Some of you may be feeling right now very burdened, okay? Uh, there could be a money situation that you're burdened about. This could be a money situation. This could be a family situation. Take it however it resonates with you. But some of you feel very burdened. You could be feeling burdened at work as well, okay? If you're applying for jobs or if you want to apply for jobs, this is definitely a good time to do, do that, okay? It's like whatever you're going to apply, whether it's making your resume, putting that resume in, going for that interview, you got to get, you got to start uh, acting on those things, okay? You're going to have a lot of options. You're going to have a lot of options. There's something to do with dreams and wishes. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So basically, luck is in your favor with the Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I just want to say, if you worked hard, if you've always put in positive energy, if you are the one who's created positive energy for others and for yourself it's all coming back to you whatever energy you've given to others is coming back and that is the law of the universe whatever we give to others always comes back guys if not in this lifetime another lifetime it's always the law of karma nobody can beat that right the law of the universe nothing and no one is above that and no one can escape that it's a very balanced scale so this is showing me that if you are burdened if you feel especially when it comes to money matters trust that things are moving ahead you may get ideas as to what is it that you need to do to free yourself pay attention to that sometimes it may just be like you know i'm daydreaming this or i'm thinking about this uh, pay attention to that okay uh, with the knight of cups Maybe somebody wants to give you a love offer, but for the majority, this is like you filling your own cup with love. You learning how to see your own worth and value. Now let's get into spell casting uh, oracle cards, okay? I'm pulling cards from this. I feel for a few of you, you're burdened because of your work or money. Or something to do with your career okay that may be weighing you or thinking about it like where am I going with my career where's my you know when is my money situation gonna gonna improve maybe 
and for the majority i'm not feeling that to be quite honest i'm feeling in the first part of the reading but for some of you i am feeling that yes there are concerns there could be concerns about family and yeah this one was coming out financial health okay but for the majority your financial health is improving there's something to do with finances which is getting better and you can even use affirmations like uh you know uh i just lost the thought <laughs> what was i gonna say um i i attract abundance to me easily and effortlessly okay money comes to me easily and effortlessly okay just like um we have relationships and friendships with money also it's money is energy okay so if you have negative thoughts around money or you feel you know uh, maybe when you grew up you you heard things like money doesn't go on threes or things like that you know work on that programming where you you see money as almost like a positive thing you know uh, so this is what i do like let's say i'm eating at a restaurant and i'm paying a bill right instead of thinking oh my god my money is spent at the restaurant I, i'm just thankful that you know i have the ability to spend that money and i trust that that money is going to come back to me in some shape and form so having that trust and having that mindset makes a big difference okay i always see this card as a money plant okay like you're almost like uh, just like i said money doesn't grow on trees but this like this is like yes money does grow on trees that's just what i wanted to bring through and we have financial health and we also have talent <coughs> excuse me so with this talent this is something to do with your work or your craft or your skill you're got you're being guided you see how she's following her north node she's following her purpose she's following uh, whatever guidance she's receiving okay maybe this new moon is going to push you to do what you are called to do yes we have the career a lot of career going on here a lot of today's reading felt a lot to do with career money and following your calling okay there is a small group that is watching me that is having issues whether it's with career or finances and what the guidance for them is to pay attention to the ideas you're receiving let's say you're receiving this idea call this friend up or set an appointment with this person do that okay do that pay attention uh, because uh, you're getting divine guidance and you're getting downloads with your finances and career as to what is that you need to do but you have to follow through you have to follow through with the idea okay your idea cannot move forward till till you don't take action so i have to say that and i don't know i see these two trees as well okay trees so trees could be significant um maybe birds i don't know maybe you're hearing some birds i don't know why i'm getting that different bird sounds you may want to spend time outdoors okay so we have speak your truth archangel gabriel okay and this is thank you gabriel for helping me speak with integrity okay and what's really coming to my mind is with this card like me talking about my trauma really released a lot of my energy okay sometimes these energies of not speaking up for ourselves not speaking our truth maybe sil we were silenced uh, if you were silenced as a child or anything like that holding that energy can keep you more restricted and stuck even in other areas of your life it can you know your other areas of your life especially your finances can also suffer when you're not speaking up for yourself okay so maybe that's something you need to look into okay we have the balance card this is again karmic justice okay let's just like the ju uh, the judgment card there's a lot of there's a lot of karma playing out right now guys I, I don't know what this is i really feel like the scales are being balanced okay so again i feel with this card whatever injustice is it's almost like spirit is stepping in and saying you know we're gonna bring balance to situations and you you really don't have to do anything you all you have to do is trust yourself or follow your inner guidance and do whatever you're guided to do and the last card is honor your feelings 
honor your feelings there is that lotus flower right there right and her wings are blue again throat chakra expression and you see how my throat <coughs> and it's so weird that every time i do these readings this comes up so for for the collective a lot of you want to share want to speak your truth or want to talk about some talent or some purpose or something and you hold yourself back that's why when i'm channeling the co collective energies i start coughing I, I i've been coughing in so many of my videos and i normally do not cough like that i do, and every time i'm channeling this group uh you know it does come up i also feel like you're you're clearing a lot of ancestral karma a lot of that stuff by you speaking and living your truth maybe you're the only one in your family who's doing that who's living uh you know following your purpose living your truth right uh, a lot of people will not do that not everyone is going to follow their soul purpose and sometimes when you're following a soul purpose a lot of people get triggered because maybe when they wanted to follow their soul's purpose their mom or their friend or their aunt or their uncle or the someone in their family said no you shouldn't do that and you should be doing this 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 and they suppressed their truth and their they suppress so when they see you they they feel triggered in some sort of way because they never honored their you know they never honored their feelings but spirit is telling you that it doesn't matter who honored who didn't honor this is your path and this is this is where you're meant to be and this is how you're meant to show up for yourself by living in your truth by speaking your truth by living in your integrity by freeing up your energy and when you do that you're going to balance the scales you're going to balance the energy you're going to heal you know, you're going to clear out a lot of ancestral karma you're going to clear out a lot of stuff that kept you stuck we have the wheel of fortune in today's reading okay so this is exciting a lot of career moves happening here you're receiving ideas downloads different for some there's like multiple streams of income also with this i felt like multiple uh, streams of income uh you know and you're you have to follow through you have to follow through with the ideas that you are receiving okay and there's a lot of positivity coming in i love that okay so rainbows could be significant i just saw a rainbow here so okay i'm gonna close out that thank you so much for watching you guys have a good one happy new moon